Uh, yeah. yeah. And, you know, something I want to talk to you about is the term beastification. Yeah. Because we had emerged on our show. From I think Ryan. so. Yeah. yeah. Maybe from Ryan from Trahan. Because we had people come yeah. on the show and talk about the beastification of YouTube. Yeah. Which meant that people on YouTube are following in your footsteps and trying to copy you. Yeah. And so the thumbnails look the same. A lot of the concepts Brutal. look the same. I know. And so when you open up YouTube for a period of time, it just felt like, wow, why does every thumbnail look the same with just a different person's face? Yeah. Why do some of these concepts look the same? The subtitles feel the yeah. same. I uh, wish I wish people would like, there's like inspiration and then there's just stealing. And yeah. so many people just steal what I do. Like so many people literally just put their face on my face right. or yeah. just take yeah. my yeah. thumbnail yeah. or literally verbatim say what I say at the start of my videos right. or like all my things. And so like, it's pretty interesting because I... I think the podcast we've done, like when I, every time I've done these podcasts, we, do, we did them almost every year for like yeah. three, four years. I just come on here and I say everything I know. Like I don't hold yeah. back. I will literally come on here and tell you guys every little thing I know about getting views on YouTube. And I know thousands, tens of thousands of creators have watched those. And literally, you know, that's the reason why they're making 10 plus thousand dollars a month because they're just like, oh, Jimmy just literally laid it out. Yeah, I just yeah. followed it. So there's that positive, but then there's also the negative because so many creators have watched it and instead of like taking inspiration from me, they're just like, oh, I'm just going to do exactly what he's doing. And yeah. like, it's pretty brutal. I, I don't call people out that copy me because, you know, not everything I do is original. You always get inspiration yeah. from somewhere. For so sure. I try not to be hypocritical because it would be very easy for someone in my spot to just start going off on creators. Sure. There's so many that just to a T yeah. just steal everything, my thunder and all that. Like I'll, I'll, you know, spend six months working on a project and millions of dollars and all this time and effort and brain power. And then after I upload two weeks later, someone will just do the exact same video, say the exact same words with the exact yeah. same thumbnail. And it's like, they didn't have to do any of that, you know, but yeah, I don't know. I I almost wish it was one of those things where people would self police it more and just be like, no, like, yeah, be, I, like it's okay to draw inspiration from me, but just don't do what I do to a T, because I, you know. But I'm never gonna like call out yeah. and, and um, trash on people that do because I'm not a hundred percent original. Like it's not like yeah. one dollar versus blank. Yeah. I'm the first person to do it. But I just you know saw that format and I was just like, how can I do that a hundred times better? Right. How can I put a hundred times more creativity into it? How can I level up the editing by a hundred times? How can I spend a hundred blah blah blah? Yeah. And that's always my mindset. How can I like if I get inspired by something, how can I do that but a hundred times better and make it my own? Whereas a lot of people are just like, oh Mr. Beast did that. I'm just gonna yeah. do it. <laughs> we, we got some rich so we Talk to the author of the book, Steal Like an Artist, mm -hmm. about this topic. So many people like, have recommended me that yeah, book. I haven't read it it's yet. It's a great book. It's about uh, like what you're saying. Like everyone steals from someone, right? Yeah. Everyone's inspired from someone. Exactly. But his advice was to uh, go back further. Like if they want to copy you, try and figure out who you were inspired by. Mm -hmm. Try and figure out like all the way back, what's like the lineage of this inspiration, which yeah. I think is interesting. And then he also talks about the difference between plagiarism and transformation. Yes. Like, how do you look at, what you're talking about is transformation. Yep. You said, I saw a concept and I said, how can I make this a hundred times better? How exactly. can I go Which like Which is this perfectly fine. That's yeah. totally fine. Yeah. Exactly. And I think that's where people need to understand is that if you see something on YouTube that you're into, transform it. Exactly. Take it and change it, right? Yeah. Don't just, because if you do the same thing, you said this on a podcast recently, but you said like the next Mr. Beast is not going to make They're not. videos like you. No. And I believe that. I think that would, that's not going to happen. No, you're never, it's just not gonna no happen. one's ever going to do what I do better than me. Like, it's yeah. just not, it's not even humanly possible. Like I reinvest every penny I make. Yeah. I work every hour I'm awake. I devote every atom in my brain to solving this. I hire yeah. the best people on the planet. I've been doing this for 14 years and I think in decades, not years. So I'm going to be doing this for another 20, 30 years, not two or three. So right. no, the next me isn't going to be me because no one's going to do what I do better than me. It's not possible. If I thought someone was doing better than me, I'd just start sleeping less so I could work even more. Like I'd figure it out. I don't <laughs> give a fuck. The barrier to entry to be you is extremely high. Yeah. yeah. Right. Especially where you're well, at Well, it's just because I'm all in. I'm crazy. Like yeah. people shouldn't be me. I don't, right. I don't have a life. I don't have work-life balance. I, my personality, my soul, my being is making the best videos possible, entertaining right. my fans as best as I can. Like that is what I exist on this planet. And I don't recommend it. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah. you should have work-life balance. You